Hey Modern Fragrance community, for today's lesson I'm going to answer a few questions related to the aging and maturation process in perfumery. Now this is a sticky subject amongst perfumers because every perfumer seems to have different theories and methods for achieving this. Aging your blend is a timely but crucial component of product development. The purpose of this process is to allow the molecules in your concentration time to form bonds with each other, and equally as important bonds with your alcohol or oil for evaporation. This will stabilize your fragrance, hopefully creating a seamless accord, or a grouping of accords you can be proud of. This is achieved in a variety of different ways, although most will follow similar principles. Time, temperature, humidity, sunlight exposure, and contamination are all factors pertaining to the aging process. And one of your key targets is to prevent oxidation. Although science has shown us that heat increases the rate of common chemical reactions, Led by the Arrhenius equation, which states, every change of 10 degrees will double reaction rates. I don't advise applying heat as it may cause your ingredients to oxidize and degrade. This oxidation is caused by the forming of radicals. A radical is an atom, molecule, or ion with an unpaired valence electron. Valence electrons are the electrons present in the outer shell of an atom. These valence electrons are responsible for the chemical properties of an atom. And of course, their reactivity. Unpaired electrons make radicals, the atom, highly reactive, and this will cause radical oxidation. On the opposite side of the spectrum, oxygen becomes more soluble in cold temperatures. This will cause your concentration to degrade as well. Storage in a cool, dark place is required for the aging process. The optimal temperature is hard to determine because most fragrances contain 5 to 50 chemicals, each with different temperature susceptibilities. Picture a basement wine cellar, not quite refrigerator and not quite room temperature. Avoid water contamination in your blend. Any source of water, even humidity, contains oxygen. This may cause oxidation. Both UV light and visible sunlight will speed up oxidation through a process known as hydrogen abstraction. It's very important that you take the necessary precautions to avoid the possibility of early oxidation while these molecules mingle. During the fragrance development, testing, and modification process, most perfumers will only age their concentrations for 24 hours to one week, and sometimes not at all before making adjustments. Creating modifications in small quantities, you should have a pretty good indication on balance while creating your ratio formula, instead of having to wait weeks or months between ratio adjustments. Once you're happy with your formula, you have two options for the aging and dilution process. Aging your concentration for two to four weeks before the alcohol dilution is known as the maturing stage. Aging your concentration with alcohol for one to four months, sometimes longer, is referred to as maceration. This is not to be confused with the essential oil extraction method, also known as maceration. Some perfumers skip the maturing stage and move straight to maceration, and some will mature for two weeks, then macerate for six weeks. As far as aging vessels go, most perfumers will just use glass vials or bottles. Other artists may use wooden barrels, clay pots, or volcanic soil. You will want to avoid metal containers as iron and copper may promote oxidation. This is caused by metal radicals reacting with your recipe, creating other radicals which then undergo radical oxidation. You can be creative, some might say innovative when it comes to maceration but always keep temperature, humidity, sunlight exposure, and contamination in mind. As you can see, practical and or theoretical experimentation is necessary to find what works for you as far as aging goes. The last thing I'll cover in this lesson will be the shifts base chemical reaction. A shifts base is when an organic compound is formed as an aldehyde or ketone reacts with a primary amine. If you've created a shifts base during the aging process, you will see changes in color, smell, and possibly even the viscosity of your mixture. A common example of this occurs when you combine hydroxycitronellol with methyl anthrenylate, which will produce the aroma chemical orentiol. Orentiol hosts a scent profile consisting of a sweet, balsamic, floral, orange blossom aroma. I'll go into more depth about the shifts base, aldehydes, amines, and other aroma chemical compounds in the coming weeks. As you can see, there's a lot of science involved, but aging methods, theories, beliefs, and techniques all differ between perfumers. I hope this guide has helped you achieve a better understanding about this complex and surprisingly uncharted process of aging and perfumery. 
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.